Hi, Roman Pavlik here. I get a lot of calls from sellers whose house didn't sell the first time around and they're looking for a better solution. So I ask them, where do you think you went wrong with the first realtor? Typically the number one answer is, as soon as I listed my house for sale, I never heard from my realtor again. And then when there were showings, they had to keep calling the realtor and chasing them to get feedback and just never knew what was going on. Well, I've been around for over 20 years now. Now I remember from 2001 to 2006 when the market was going up, we didn't need to communicate every week because we had a steady stream of offers, plenty of buyers, and we were just discussing which offer to take. Same thing happened from 2010 to 2015 or 2016. However, I do remember from 2006 to 2010 when the market was dropping and in the last few years in the South Florida market, the same has happened. Well, now homes are on the market longer and communication is even more important to make sure you know which direction your home sales going in. So that's why we automatically send you an update every single Monday morning, either by phone, by mail, or to your email inbox, letting you know exactly all the properties in your neighborhood or within the price range that are newly listed on the market, which means there's new competition. Ones that went on the contract, which means buyers knew about yours, but chose to buy these instead, and close sales, so you can monitor which way the prices are going. Also, you're gonna get a weekly showing and feedback report, so you know exactly how many people came to your property, how many new calls received, open house activities, and you're gonna get the feedback you need to make a great decision. So you're never gonna go more than seven days without knowing what's going on on your listing.